<laughs> See, let me play some, some music from the UK for you. All right. How y'all doing tonight? You may have heard you tonight. The clap. Try it again. How y'all doing tonight? Totally go with the great. Yes, tonight is Bookworm Comedy Night. It is also the Bookworm's one year anniversary. good because this is Rockford and uh, we really are rock bottom when it comes to jobs so, so definitely be happy give it up for yourselves for being here tonight and uh, keeping people employed keeping comedians from going hungry but uh, yeah a hungry comic right there first he's hungry he's vegan he's always hungry but uh, we have got an amazing lineup for you tonight we got uh, your special surprise headliner is uh, all the way from Chicago. He's a member of the Comedy Troupe Comedians You Should Know. They had a number one comedy album on iTunes recently. Mike Leibovitz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what you can hear. He's outside smoking. He's like, I'll start chanting like, Lebo, Lebo, do it. Let's see if he, let's see if he actually. Lebo, 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 Lebo. I just, we just keep on doing it until he comes in here. I, I won't even do it any time. We'll just keep on doing that until he comes in here. Well, he's already done smoking. He's probably taking a dump cut right now or something. Thank you. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I mean, oh, that's true. Yeah, which, uh, my wife told me I need to work on my time management skills. So, uh, I, I have been. I've been, uh, hey, it worked. <laughs> I've been working on my own kind of management skills. I've been uh, nearing my butt, so it makes for a lot quicker life. It really does. She also uh, she also uh, waxed my my chest, and uh, man, that shit's torture right there. That right there, they should use that as a harsh interrogation technique in Guantanamo. All some hairy fuckers there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, y'all, y'all heard about uh, that controller, the city controller in Dixon who got busted? Yeah. No. Yeah. Check this out. She was embezzling millions of dollars from Dixon. She uh, she embezzled total like what thirty million dollars? Who ever knew Dixon, Illinois had thirty million dollars to be embezzled? Yeah. <laughs> How do you not know that Dixon doesn't even have? I mean. Dixon probably doesn't even have like 30 million strains of DNA. You know what I mean? Just how, how do you... Probably not even 30 strains of DNA. I mean, how do you, how do you embezzle 30 million and get away with it? And uh, here's the crazy thing. One of the most expensive items she bought with that was a motor home. Two million. It was over two million dollars. A motor... What? Did it, this thing have like... Gold-plated rims or something? <laughs> but I heard of I heard of being ghetto rich. But this bitch was trailer park rich. <laughs> so the bitch with the hitch rich, okay? I just thought of that off the top of my head, because I'm really like that. Man, that, that that just blew my mind. And uh you know the topic of uh, scandal. I, I guess it's not really a scandal, but uh one of uh, Obama's uh, so-called ex-girlfriends released her diary detailing her relationship with Obama. And, and did you hear about this? No. Yeah, this goes back to when uh, he was 22 years old. And she says that even though he was charming in full sexual warmth, that he was still cold and distant. Newsflash, he was 22. You weren't his girlfriend. You were a jump off, okay? <laughs> You're a nice, warm piece of booty after a long, hard day of fighting the power. All right? <laughs> the dude was 22! What, did I just enlighten people here? <laughs> yeah, if that dude you met in fanny's last week has to return your call, that's why. <laughs> I mean, if that dude you met at bingo night last week has to return your call... See, I want to get all demographics of the audience. <laughs> Younger? Older? <laughs> they want to, I want to keep it like an equal opportunity show. Mine told me that. 
That guy that you met at daycare last week. <laughs> Man, oh, actually my daughter told me the most interesting thing. She goes to Boylan, and she told me that her, her teachers did a, a pie chart of their religions. They did? I thought, no. It was in Boylan. It wasn't Boylan. It was on Facebook. Oh, it was on Facebook. Well, oh, fuck, anyway, it was, it was one of your Boylan buddies who told you about it? Yeah. Okay, well, the claim was that, uh, <laughs> that the religions that most impose their values on others and most impose their lifestyle on others, and... Uh, Judaism had like the smallest one, and Catholics had like a decent sized chunk, and atheists had the biggest chunk. I'm sorry, but I don't remember the atheists leading the Spanish Inquisition. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you how do you try to impose disbelief on someone? But anytime someone says, I don't know about that, atheist, <laughs> but trying to convert me. <laughs> Some crazy ass bullshit right there. And of course, uh, what's been the big news has been the Avengers. Yeah, I, should, I guess I should be very thankful for you guys right here and not out watching the Avengers. But uh, Captain America <laughs> recently came out in favor of gay marriage. Chris Evans, the guy who plays uh, uh, Captain America. Was uh, talking about um, that he believes in, in gay rights and he doesn't believe that in this day and age we don't have equality for all, and that, that he so, uh, fully, you know, fully supports gay marriage. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Well, it really didn't surprise me much because the first time I ever went to a gay pride parade, I saw all these like big muscular guys and they're all wearing like skin tight and oily colored outfits. I thought it was the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, that was made for Spider-Man to come out and like shoot a web. I mean, they weren't doing shooting white stuff, but it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't so hey, gay love's a beautiful thing, okay? <laughs> but yeah, and uh, man, I, I just can't believe like the stuff that people so discriminate over. Like in uh, the Miss Universe pageant, there was um, a trans uh, a transsexual uh, beauty contestant who at first got kicked out of the pageant because she was born a boy. But now she's a girl, but then they, they let her back in, and it's okay, you can compete. Like, really? Is this, you know, this woman had to be nowhere near the fakest woman in a Miss Universe. <laughs> <laughs> With all the silicone titties, all the fake ass lips, Preparation H on their faces. I mean, they wrote, for real, they put Preparation H on their faces to get rid of their wrinkles. How are you gonna talk about anyone's sexuality when your face smells like ass? <laughs> I mean, this whole idea of like, of like people who are born like one gender, like you be born a boy, but then you feel you're neither a boy nor a girl. They call it transgender because they transcend gender. Man, that's beautiful. That shit's deep. Okay, think about it. Eminem's not a wigger, he's trans-ethnic. <laughs> I'm not funny looking, I'm trans-beautiful. <laughs> I mean, the only, one, the only one I'm not by, I, mean, I don't quite get is pre-operative transgender. And those are the ones, to me, those are the ones who lack commitment. They just haven't locked off their will yet. I mean, really, at that point, what's the difference between that and Tyler Perry? <laughs> Be real, but how many of y'all, first time you saw Tyler Perry dress up as Medea, they didn't just think that RuPaul had packed down the pounds. <laughs> Man, but, uh, oh, oh, but back to, uh, back, nah, I think I'll, I think I'll, I'll, I'll stop on the video. Yeah, <laughs> y'all ready for me? I, I was going to go somewhere ugly with, uh, yeah, we don't want to go, we want to go somewhere handsome and beautiful. Y'all ready for your, for your next comic, this handsome and beautiful bastard coming up? He may be big and creepy, but he's, he is handsome and beautiful on the inside. You see, uh, he just headlined a show out of Milwaukee last week. Can't remember the name of the venue, but he's been all over the place. <laughs>